Ethan, with all of this that we've talked about on the transgender, non-binary spectrum, on the cisgender side of all of this as a sibling, please tell me this has, I mean, maybe it makes you think of gender, but this has not become contagious and sh all of a sudden now you're trans, right? Oh. Because there's people think, that, there are people oh, that no. think that, <laughs> that just by, you know, that you can influence people that much by brainwashing them. Well, there's no question that, uh, that we are, uh, ab beyond siblings in terms of just our looks, but then you can get you that somewhere deep inside of us are very similar motors, drivers. We, um, probably the most incredible uh, story or, or instance of it presenting itself was uh, when I, I moved to California um, uh, well before Katie did and uh, drove across the country. It was a five-speed standard car, so it really it made a huge difference to have somebody helping. Our parents offered to uh, pay for a flight back, and it was also um, as uh, we both finished, uh, finished with school and um, had gone to different schools, hadn't spent a whole lot of time, probably hadn't spent um, you know, five consecutive days with each other since I'd, I'd left high school and gone to college, and, um, and uh, I think by the time Katie was in college too, that we just hadn't spent the time together, and uh, it was just a good opportunity to hang out and, um, and drive across the country. And um, because driving to um, Los Angeles literally means that Las Vegas is on the way, we stopped <laughs> in Las Vegas, um, and with absolutely no appreciation whatsoever for how one or the other of us would dance if either of us even enjoyed dancing um, we ended up at a uh, at like one of these club bars there and um, and almost simultaneously like exclaiming to each other how do you have the exact same dance moves as me? same moves exact same <laughs> 100%. That, um, that we not were, dad's moves not our he dad's tries moves. to say that he, we well, dance he, like him he's oh, a he's dancer off stage. yeah he's, he's off stage now. i can hear the laughter <laughs> but he um <laughs> But no, I mean, but we're all we're certainly dancers, yeah. and, uh, and we have we him got to dad's thank for heart. That. Somehow we got we got the exact same moves <laughs> without ever once being in the same room dancing together. Um, <laughs> that uh, you know, so there's there's no question that somewhere deep down, that hardwired, um, we are absolutely related to each other, and that we share things that we didn't even realize that we shared. Um, and I'm sure that there's plenty of other things that we could potentially discover down the road uh, in the same vein. But um, Katie's. Uh, Katie's journey and Katie's um, Katie's coming out as trans. Um, it's it's given me the opportunity to think. It's given me the opportunity to be more flexible with how how steadfast. If I had to, if I was on the spot to say you're absolutely 100% straight, I'd say I'd say no. Um, I'm straight for sure, but there's no reason that I have to fit every single one of the pigeonholes that being a straight cisgendered male would be. Um, that you know that I could. I'm happy to put on. Um, a flamboyant shirt and give the launder, laundromat uh, attendee a, a hard time for telling me that I might want to be careful wearing it around Boston because he's an idiot and uh, I look good in the thing. So it's not, <laughs> it's not a question of, um, uh, you know, that there's, that um, I feel like they, for me the entire experience has been awakening in, in my ability, in just my appreciation for the privilege that I never realized that I was almost certainly being afforded in so many different scenarios as we just talked about. I think that the most important takeaway for me has been my ability now to question like like not just binary or black and white in terms of just polar opposites um, that things can that everything is so much more is so much grayer in the way that everyone can appreciate who they are what they like why it's okay to that who you are or what you like has um, you know, doesn't fit directly into the square peg, square hole scenario, yep. that, um, that it's worth it now. I take the time to question, um, was it the circumstances? Was it my presentation of the facts? Or was it the fact that I was a, um, that I was a prototypical um, uh, male privileged uh, person that, uh, that got me out of that speeding ticket? You know, why did I really get out of that? And um, and it's the cool stop, beard. That's what it was. I stopped giving myself <laughs> as much credit as I used to just want to take and assume that it was thanks to entirely my personality or or, or the fact that I could occasionally be articulate. That um, that it was that there was also a very very likely possibility that I've gotten away with stuff that I know for a fact even knew at the at the time that I didn't deserve to get away with, but I did, and um, I question that now, and I. I pay more attention to the very likely possibilities that it's that there's more to it than I was willing to con not willing to but just that I had the the understanding of, of need to consider um, and that's what I think that for for siblings 
of gay, transgender, of anybody, to, for siblings of, for anyone that's got a sibling. If you're a sibling and you've got another sibling, no matter what the deal is, and no matter who you are, if, if you don't, even if you don't, that, that there are, there's so much more for you to appreciate from other people, and I truly love people, um, but there's just so much more to appreciate for who they are and how they see themselves as who they are than, uh, than I feel like uh, I ever really had the opportunity or, or, or just wherewithal to, to dig into or appreciate or even look for. Um, but that's been probably the best, uh, like for me personally in my life and my ability to just be that much better, closer friends with anybody um, experience that's, that's come out of this. It's just another instance of me being outrageously lucky, but, um, but it's, uh, it's still, it's, it's unique and it's, it's given me um, a lot more insight into things that would have never crossed my plate uh, for all of those reasons. Um, that uh, that we just you know that we just said I never would have thought about it if I if I didn't if I wasn't lucky enough to to be close enough to Katie to get that get that uh, that lens 